Hey, this is YBR with BeamNG Drive, and today we're going to be taking a look at a mod called Death Myself Bomb for the H series. Kind of an unusual name for a mod. Now, if you go to the H series, you don't actually have any specific vehicle for this mod. What you do is you spawn up any H series, then you pull open the parts menu, you go to frame, body, and then right about in the middle of body, there is the light bar. And for the light bar, you're going to add the bomb. And you would think, oh, the bomb's going to be on the roof, but actually it just kind of sits right inside of the H series. Now we could drive this thing around as much as we want and that bomb will not blow up. It is completely inert until you hit the M key on your keyboard. When you hit the M key, it looks a little bit like this. So we got the door flying off and we got a ton of damage to the rear. But the fun thing about this thing is that most of the damage will usually be cosmetic. So you can have this vehicle that looks totally beat up, but it drives almost perfectly. Like I'm not doing any steering right there and it's just pulling a little bit to the left. A very manageable amount of damage to this thing and we're already going 60 miles per hour on this road so acceleration isn't really hindered. And that's one of my favorite things about this mod is just the fact that you can have something that looks like this and drive so well still. Now, let's go ahead and try to wreck this up a little bit more and then we'll respawn it because there is one thing I do want to point out. There we go. And main engine broken, so that's going nowhere. So that's what I wanted to show you. When you respawn the vehicle, the bomb goes off immediately and it uh, really wrecks up the vehicle. You can still drive it. It drives great, but it looks ridiculous. Now, to fix this, there's actually a real easy solution. Just hit M again, which basically turns the bomb off. Now it's not blowing up the second you spawn up the vehicle. Drive around, say, oh no, gas station, and then boom. The bomb blows up the gas station. Although that one, you saw the door popped off right before the impact because the bomb actually fell through the back of the van. That's something you do have to watch out for every now and then. Now, for some fun, what we're going to do is we're going to put a pigeon right on top of this and we're going to see what happens when we blow it up with the pigeon right on the roof. So we just go, boop, right there. Then we go to the van, get a little bit of slow-mo going, and then blow it up. Yeah, the pigeon didn't actually move that much. I thought it would go, you know, a couple of feet in the air, but it just kind of shifted about and then slowly fell to the ground. Van, on the other hand, lots of damage, and, well, still perfectly drivable, really. Like, I'm driving this, and it's going straight. Okay, here's a dumber idea. We're gonna spawn up the van twice because I keep forgetting about that. And then we're gonna stuff the pigeon into the rear of it. And to do that, we're gonna use teleportation once again. But first, we're gonna line up the pigeon with the van so that it'll actually fit in the rear of it like so. And we're gonna go ahead and just teleport it into the back about right here. That looks good enough. Now to the van. We're gonna drive it around a little bit with the pigeon inside. I know it's sticking through the roof a little bit, but I don't think the pigeon actually fits in this even with pretty much perfect precision because of the length. Yeah, that's a bigger issue than the roof sticking out if you ask me. But anyways, we're up to about 50 miles per hour and then boom. Wow, that really shredded the pigeon. All right, here we're gonna do something funny. We're gonna drive along at about 70 miles per hour if we can get up to that speed and we're gonna shoot the pigeon out of this. How? We're actually just going to do this. We're going to freeze physics, reset the van, so the van's going to be gone, and then we're just going to have the pigeon skidding along. <laughs> that worked great! That was so dumb, but it worked great! You can actually see just how badly beat up the pigeon got from that. Now, it uh, doesn't get the advantage the van has where it can keep driving afterwards. It's done for. And the van just blew itself up, and the pigeon's at a different angle, so I guess that's the game's way of saying, hey, don't do that again. You just did it, so do something different. So we tried putting something inside the van. Why don't we try the opposite of that? We'll try putting the van into something. We'll get the empty drive van trailer and see if we can line it up in a reasonable angle. It's a little bit stuck in the ground, but I don't think it matters for this test. Go ahead and reset the van. Whoops. <laughs> well, I know it wants to get in the trailer. It's a little bit uh, excited. You got to hold on just for a second before we go into that trailer van. So we line it up to be parallel. We're just going to try to stick it into here right about there should be close enough we got one of the uh mirrors hanging out the side but overall that looks close enough a little bit of slow-mo going here just four times and well let's go eight times and then blow it up lots of deformation but it actually held up a bit like that thing could still hold this van in place on that side this side looks a lot worse 
And if you want to have some fun, we reset it and it blows up again and 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 everything's gone. Wait a minute. That piece doesn't want to break. Come on. It's slowly moving the trailer forward, so eventually you would think it would break, but uh not happening. Either way though, it really did a good job of destroying that trailer. And now it's all crooked, but I think the bomb is technically on the outside, so yeah. The explosions aren't going to do much, but it'll push it inwards a little bit, which is also interesting. Blown up! Uh, it's kind of fun just hitting R over and over and over again. It's one of those nice conveniences of the fact that the bomb keeps blowing up until you disable it. Now we're going to go ahead and go back to this. And instead of blowing up the dry van trailer, let's try blowing up the cinder block wall. We're going to drive up right next to it and then blow it up. Well, it blew itself up there. That's not my fault. There we are. We're gonna go to the van, we're just gonna kinda back up to it, so that way the doors will hopefully pop off and destroy the wall. Or the force of the explosion, I'm not exactly sure which is gonna be uh, more of a factor here. We'll reset it right there, that looks like a good spot, and then... Blow it up! Oh, the van itself just it hopped at the wall, that's cheating! Alright, try this again. So we got a fresh van with a fresh bomb, we get the camera lined up to an appropriate position, put a little bit of slow-mo into the mix, and BOOM! There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Bricks flying into the air, going everywhere. And then they rain down to the ground. Although I couldn't quite tell if the bricks flew from the explosion or from a part of the car flying off and hitting it. So to find this out, we're going to go a little bit more slow-mo. And then we do the boom. Although some things in this game are a little bit wacky with explosions and the way they react in slow-mo versus high speed. Because if you remember correctly in the past, the cannon wouldn't work properly with slow-mo. However, in this situation, you can tell that the bricks are exploding before the parts get there, which means the explosion is what's taking out the bricks, not the doors. I'm totally okay with that because I don't know if the doors would have had enough mass to take out that wall anyways. And once again, we have a ridiculous looking van that'll drive reasonably well. Actually, this thing's almost perfectly straight as it drives, even though I thought it would be damaged from just how bent it looks. I almost wish it had the ability to like reset the bomb and blow it up again. That would be amazing. Unfortunately, it's one bomb and then you gotta reset the vehicle to a fresh state. And that right there actually killed my van. So let's go ahead and try something else I wanna do. We're gonna replace the brick wall with a regular vehicle. It doesn't really matter what it is to me, so how about we just go with the custom version of the Abishu Miramar. And then we're gonna just drive it a little bit away from the H-Series. We're not gonna go super far or anything with this, but I want some distance between us. I'll just set it to go mostly straight on this road and hopefully it holds path good enough for it to uh, get some way down that road while I line up the van. Now, I would know it will crash. I just want it to crash after a few seconds. That's all I care. So there we go. Park the van right here. How is the mirror mark? Got a decent way down the road. We're going to go ahead and pop it back onto the road. It did an amazing flip while I wasn't looking, apparently. Kind of sad I missed that. Anyways, we got it past the bridge. That's about all I wanted. Then we're going to go ahead and go to the apps menu and add the AI control and tell the AI to charge at my vehicle. And then we're going to have an explosion on impact. So we just say chase like that. And then we can go ahead and start accelerating too. And it'll look like, at least hopefully, it'll look like the explosion is from the impact, not from the van. Like, you know, maybe the fuel tank in the van somehow got ruptured type of crash right here. We'll get a nice camera angle right here. Don't know if I should be exploding it a little bit earlier than the crash, but look at that. That worked pretty well. I like it. I like that. That worked nicely. I like how the van really popped into the air from the combination of the impact and the explosion. That was great. Okay, now a dumber idea. What if we do it with two vans? That sounds like a great plan. We're gonna go ahead and go eight series, and on this one, we can go ahead and try it with the ambulance. I have actually never done that, so it may or may not work with the ambulance. We're gonna find out right here real quickly. So we go to frame, body, and light bar, and we gotta replace the regular light bar with the bomb, and we're gonna test it real quickly, make sure it actually works in this one. Yes, it does in a very dramatic fashion. It shreds the interior. I had to see that twice, okay. 
So I'll go ahead and spin them around because the AI is pretty incompetent. I do not think they could do this on their own. It's actually a multi-point churn. I'm almost certain the AI would struggle with that and crash into a tree. Now they're all set up though, so I could just tell them to chase. Go back to mine, which is not set up at all. Oh no, we'll have to uh, work with that. Hopefully they don't accelerate as fast as the other one was. And we're good, we're good. I made it work. Get nice, slow-mo, ready, 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 freeze. I wanted to blow up at the exact same time, so blow up, blow up. And then get the nice camera angle, like right about here looks good. Go! Yes, that was beautiful. I think uh, that is the best crash yet. For this video, I mean. Ha! <laughs> I love the way the roof is actually just flying off the ambulance like that. That is awesome. You know, the ambulance is actually probably the best vehicle for this because you got chunks flying everywhere, which makes it look more dramatic. With this one, you don't have many chunks flying anywhere because it's all one solid piece that just kind of deforms. The chunks are awesome to watch. Go ahead and reset both of them one more time. And they are going at me already. That's uh, not exactly what I was planning here. What I wanted to do was park this here and then switch it to the other 8 series that we haven't really used yet, which is the uh, box van. So that's this one right here. We're going to mess with them. We're going to change vehicles and they're going to get confused, right? Yeah, I don't think it works like that. Instead, we're just going to say hello as they crash into me and get a single explosion going. I uh, prematurely exploded right there, but either way, we got to see the stuff flying off the ambulance. So I'll reset this, then we're going to go to the frame, body, light bar, and we're going to get the correct addition there. The bomb. We'll do a quick test blow up so you can see what it looks like without the impact. Well first, let's actually get the AI out of the way. I don't want them messing things up, so we're just going to tell them to do nothing at all and park them right there. And then back to my van, get a little bit of slow-mo, about four times should be good, and blow it up. Alright, that's not too bad. Oh, there's the fun side. The left side blew up a lot more than the right side. Conclusion though, an impact between these two vehicles should be fun to watch. And just doing it where you reset it, you actually get a little bit more damage because the bomb is a little bit higher in the air. So less of the force goes to the frame of the vehicle. So you get something more dramatic looking. But anyways, we'll, uh, <laughs> they're just rolling forward. Okay, AI is set up. So we go to my big old van. We get that moving manually. And I gotta make sure this one, the explosion actually happens a little bit after the impact. Went a little bit premature on that uh, slow-mo right there. I hit 100 times slow-mo. Don't need that yet. Eight times is nice to get them close to each other. And then 16 when they're real close. Let a little bit of impact happen just like that. And then we blow up both of the bombs. And we're gonna get like a, uh, kind of like you're on the side of the crash kind of view like that. And then... Beautiful! That is beautiful. And I think that will do it for this video. If you guys have anything you would like to see using these, feel free to suggest it. And if I get enough suggestions, I'll go ahead and make a part two for this mod. Because this is one of those ones where there's a lot of things you could probably think of and do. This is just the few things I could come up with with a little bit of time with the mod. So until next time, this has been YBR. I'll see ya.